Hello, my name is Miss Shays. I'm a human just like you. A human is a type of organism. An organism is defined as an individual animal, plant, or single-celled life form. This means that any living thing is an organism. So just like me, you are an organism as well. All organisms, or living things, have many things in common. They all have a way of being born, growing in some way, reproducing, and eventually dying. As you may already know, humans have all of these attributes. It is because we are organisms. I was born in a hospital from my mother. I started as a tiny bald baby. Then I grew up to be this tall woman, and my hair grew with me. I am capable of reproduction and hope to one day have babies of my own, or reproduce. Eventually my heart will stop beating and I will die. All of us humans go through these phases of life and death. We all start as babies, grow up, become capable of getting pregnant or impregnating, then after a very long time, we will all experience death. All organisms go through these steps, although their life cycle can be very different. Penguins, for example, are not born the way we are. Penguins come from an egg laid by their mother. The father keeps the egg warm to allow development. The penguin eventually hatches from the egg for birth, grows up and finds a life mate for themselves to have an egg with, and start the process over again. Penguins go through birth, growth, reproduction, and death just as we do, although their life cycle is very different. We do not hatch from an egg like they do. Even plants, being living things or organisms, go through these steps of birth, growth, reproduction, and death. Obviously, their life cycle is very different. Take sunflowers, for example. They start as seeds and become born when the first green from the seed sprouts out. This is clearly already a very different life cycle than us. They grow up to be a beautiful, tall sunflower. To reproduce, just like other flowers, they do this by pollination. Sunflowers specifically pollinate or reproduce by cross-pollination. This means that for a sunflower to produce seeds, it needs pollen from another sunflower. The pollen is transferred from one sunflower to another by insects. The insect lands on the sunflower, collects pollen, then lands on another sunflower, making their reproduction possible. The sunflower can now produce seeds. The seeds fall off and begin their own life cycle as the old sunflower shrivels up and dies. As you can see, we have very different life cycles from other organisms, but all organisms are born, grow, reproduce, and die.